Louis. <laughs> Look at that face. I think Gracie approves. You approve? Little girl? Do you approve bellies? Oh, oh the belly. I'm oh. getting haircuts this week. <gasps> oh boy. The first ones. The first ones. Gracie didn't enjoy getting her nails cut. She said, no, I'm not about that life. No. I'm not. So vicious, girl. A vicious girl. Are you vicious, girl? Little tooth. She's got an underbite. I don't know that we'll be able to get that on camera right now. Somebody's feeling a little sassy. Sassy girl. Gracie. Hey. No, you don't want to show off. You don't want to show off. Oh, beautiful girl. He's after the old string. He's they oh, bought uh -oh. for some reason. <laughs> It's that good 18th century string. They just want to spread it all over the floor. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You can't have it. Nope. Nope. Circus dogs. Mm-hmm. It's a little harder to keep two of them out of it. Uh-huh. Jeez, Gracie, camera hog. <laughs> you ain't. Mm -hmm. You were working on the twine. I'm tying the springs. Tying the springs down so they don't... They're not too bouncy. Oh. I can't wait. Quit yawning. You don't want these to shift around Okay. when people are sitting. So you have to tie the bottoms too. So you can see on this one how it slides around. Oh. If a spring would happen to flip sideways, then you wouldn't have any support in the seat. Oh. So you want to make sure they're all very stable. And of course, it disperse, disperses weight. So these were right here. Is this how this was originally? Um, and it's just a little thread. You can see it here. But it's tied through the webbing. Okay. And I think this webbing is it's getting pretty old, too. So I probably should pop that out and replace it. Okay. Just, it's a... Um, look at how they've, even this piece of wood that's been put in there, it's very primitive. So that's what's leading you to believe it's 18th century? Well, the style is definitely. Okay, the style. Anyway, yeah. It's got the little birds up above. That's what made it kind of unusual on the back. The birds. Uh-huh. So we just got done with our first vamp on not onboarding our first vamp seller meeting. We put a open invite for people to go on to StreamYard, and that didn't work because it would only let so many people on. So then we had to go on to and create a Zoom link, which worked better. Um, and I think that we covered some good topics i think you know for me i think the one of the biggest points about <clears throat> reselling um or just retail in general is that there's a lot of like external factors that are happening in the world right now and i see that the biggest factor is of course inflation um that is a reality for everybody and i think that people are making decisions to put food on the table versus having a vase. So, you know, whether that is a YouTube live sale, if it's an eBay sale, if it's a whatnot sale, if it's an Instagram sale. Um, and I think that quite frankly, that a lot of individuals are like, well, I don't understand. It's just slow. It's the platform. They're not doing this. They're not doing that. And I don't know that, quite frankly, in my opinion, that 
it's the platform. It is external factors that are affecting people in their everyday lives. And they're having to make decisions again, to put food on the table. And at the end of the day, you know, is this doll a priority in life when you're faced with an exorbitant grocery bill? No, it's not. Um, I will say that I think that there are people that are still invested in their hobbies and their collections and in their passions, but they are not so willy nilly with their dollars anymore. And as a reseller, I have found that I have had to make much more selective decisions in the things that I am purchasing and that I am trying to find as high of a quality of item as I can find at as low as a price as I possibly can. Um, so, you know, there's a lot going on in the world. There's a lot of uncertainty out there and you still have to, as a reseller, you know, pay your bills. And the way I pay my bills is by reselling stuff. So how do I do that? I, again, just like I said, I try to find great stuff. Like for example, those two bittersweet vases over there, I found those in a very non-traditional way. I'm showing the reality. <laughs> It's not a mess. It's just a little disorganized right now. Um, but I did find those vases in an unconventional kind of way. And sometimes, oops, sometimes that is what it's about is you know thinking outside the box and making connections and just seeing if people would be willing to to send you stuff or not send you stuff sell you stuff in maybe non-traditional ways so that's what you gotta do you gotta stay in the game ding so yeah i don't know it's literally 1006 right now so that's what we're doing tonight. Um, I think I'll pick up the video tomorrow at some point. We'll have to take the dogs out. Get bathed. Are you going to the house tomorrow? You said yeah? Maybe. Maybe. Tomorrow is the day that I show you what he does. I think we'll do that. We'll go on an adventure tomorrow. I have pictures done. I have reels done for my sales. Um, I do have some more editing to do for, I think, the cults of vintage. I know for sure on the culture of vintage here. So I will... I'm going to, mm, yeah, I should be able to do that. I cleaned all the bathrooms today at the end. So that's done. So I have a little bit more free time tomorrow and I'm going to take my free time, but we're going to do a little, we're going to check in on the remodel, which is where these chairs are going that you're about to see. <laughs> okay. We're walking into the backyard. Let's see we can find him. He doesn't know I'm showing up. Over there's the little pond. Mm -hmm. Let's go over here. I don't know if he's laying stone or if he's doing more. Oh, he's right there. How are you making out? Sir? Hey. <laughs> so what, yes, we're doing, <laughs> what are you doing over here? You came in the wrong way. You come the other way, it's pretty. Okay, we'll go the other way. So this is where you've left off. Jigsaw puzzle. Okay, we'll go look at the front.
left of here. Do you want? Why is that? Here is the front. Go over here. I love this little drain. Look back there. Ooh. See, doesn't that make more sense? It does. <laughs> Do you want to take this inside? I don't care. It's going to get dark fast. Okay. Well, we'll have to go fast then. We are now. <laughs> Okay. It's gonna be dark. It's gonna be dark. Still see. Yeah. So obviously stairwell that goes up to the second floor, main hallway, mm -hmm. and we're coming over here. And this is the living room. The living room. You guys, wait till you see this. Ready? Richard did that ceiling all by himself. Mm -hmm. Coffered ceiling. Coffered ceiling. Mm -hmm. Put in a floor to ceiling fireplace. Mm -hmm. And these are for the sconces. Mm -hmm. Now this door or entryway, hallway. We widened this door. You widened it. Because it goes into the dining room. Okay. And it's an open dining room kitchen. Now this molding, is this original or is this the reproduction? This was reproduced from the original molding. Reproduced from the original. Yeah. And the original is over here on the blue? Yes. So we had planned on widening the doorway, but mom and dad kept going bigger and bigger. Okay. So you can see, you showed them a nice real picture of the piece I had to add in. Up here. Yeah. They saw it in the, you just showed it. Oh, right here. See it when you. Uh huh. So I had to add that little piece in because the guy that made all the molding died. He passed, yeah. I suppose that's a better way to say it. So this <laughs> is the, this will be the eat in kitchen. And these are all the cabinets for the kitchen. Yeah. Whole kitchen's in a box. And what should we do? This, Where do you want to well, go? Well, why don't we do this? Because we can backtrack and go back through the family room. Okay. So this door we cut in so that we would have an access to the new addition. So this is where the old home ended. So behind the sheetrock is brick-ish. Yeah, so there was a kitchen bump beyond that that was torn down. And this door was actually on the other side of the room going into the kitchen. This was the original formal dining room. Okay. But so, you had to cut this out of brick. Yeah, we had to. We eliminated the other door because of the addition. We had to move it over here to hit a back hallway. Now that's original. That probably. is the original molding. Okay. Yeah. So every molding in every room is different. It was built as a model home. A model home. So you could go through and pick the molding you wanted for the house you were going to have built. Are we going this way? Yep. Okay, we're going to go over here. Oh, and there you can see the brick. Mm -hmm. We had to create an access for the plumbing. Mm -hmm. Plumbing. <laughs> and this room then is... This is just the back entry. Kind of like your... Side entry. Mud room, if you will. Yeah, it goes to the garages. Okay. It has a half bathroom, a coat closet. So this is your garage. And there'll be a door here, obviously. And then over here is... The furnace room. This is the furnace room. This is the coat closet. Mm -hmm. And this will be the half bath. Yep. Okay. The dresser will be the sink. The dresser is going to be the sink. Okay. We found old doors that match the original house, so we're getting those all finished out to put in the new addition. So you have done like the door here as an example. You are working not with, you are trying to prioritize having original antique salvaged pieces versus putting in new. Yeah. Obviously the windows are new. Um, in order I'll, to have functional windows. Yeah. Were 
But that even includes the doorbell. Mm -hmm. Still works. Still works. So we're going to backtrack. Mm -hmm. OK. After you. Oh, yeah, there you can see the brick. Yeah. So again, now we're back into the Eden kitchen. Obviously, you can't see the breadth of it because cabinetry is here. And it's dark. And it's dark. I have a flashlight. It's okay. Oh, you know what I could do? Hold on. I have the flash on. Look. Oh. Oh. Oh, does that? Now it my. That turns it off? Now, because my battery is running low, it doesn't want to. Oh. Well, we are adding in features like the leaded glass windows. Mm-hmm. Address it up. So there's the entry. And this is going to be. This was originally a coat closet, and it's going to be a pantry for the kitchen. Nice walk in pantry mm -hmm. underneath the stairs. And this it, used to come out to the side porch on the house. Mm -hmm. It's now the family room. The family room. And you can see the patio right outside. Are we starting? Yep, out there's the patio. Now, full disclosure, I've elected not to show the exterior of the home just for some semblance of privacy. So as we walk through this doorway, where are we in now? This is going into the master bedroom. This is the master bedroom. Okay. I'm still watching for my light. Yeah. Direct in the area Perfect. We'll do this. So that is the cupboard that's going in the closet. This one here. Mm -hmm. And then we walk back here, and this is? This is master bathroom. Master bathroom. And there are two separate water closets. Mm -hmm. One, and then we have the shower and bathtub in here. Mm -hmm. Then your second water closet is here. And then it will have two vanities with the cupboard in the middle. Right over here, window above. We'll put another leaded glass window in to that space. Now when you say leaded glass window, you mean you're gonna hang, hang it, one. not yeah. install it. Yeah, yeah. we're gonna hang it in. And the room we just entered into is the walk-in. Master closet. And laundry. And laundry. So the laundry is under the window. There'll be an island in the middle. So right here. And then that giant cupboard will be on the back wall behind you. Okay. And again, we're looking through now into the garage there. And then clothing rack all the way around. And then the last room downstairs is this room here. Almost. This, Almost. Is, the office. this is the office. And then there's going to be a doorway here that leads out back, which is where we were. You're at a landing. Wow. And the entry to the apartment. And then there's the apartment. Do you want to go upstairs? Mm -hmm. Let's go upstairs. Here we are in the apartment. This is a studio apartment. Studio so apartment. Living room, dining room, bedroom, and one room. This is the kitchen area here. We you can look out. The Juliet balcony. Mm -hmm. Outside. Ooh. And again, there's your yard. Romantic like. So as we look in, we're in the kitchen. Mm -hmm. And this will be pantry. pantry. Then there's going to be an island right here where the sink will be. With the bar. The bar. Like, yeah. I, yeah. Bar seating. And then you'll have the stove refrigerator over here. Yep. And then behind here is going to be what? <laughs> That's Michael's room. Yeah. Wait till you see what that's going to be. These little doors will be on it so you can see in. collection of furniture together. Mm -hmm. Again, antiques, it'll be 
need to be repolstered. Then there is a mantle over here. So this is dining, bedroom, living room. Living room. All one space. All one space. And then back there, that hall or that doorway there will lead into. This is the bathroom. The master. This or, is the sink for the bathroom. There it is. I'll show you that. Oh, you guys went with us. Maybe you went with us to pick up this couch. Mm -hmm. That was our trip to get Lamona. Yep. Lamona. Bonus. So in here is going to be the bathroom. Again, you have your water closet. Obviously a tub shower. Over here will be the vanity sink. Behind this will be storage. Yeah. That wall will be storage. And then we have the washer dryer hookup. So then this will walk into a closet here. This will be walled, but there will be a door that's cut through. And again, there'll be additional storage over here. And, and then, then this uh, is the attic. For oh, this is the doorway right here. Now we're moving it down. Oh, we're moving it down. So again, additional storage. We're back into, well, we're entering into brick wall. The original. The original. So these stairs go into what will be the original house, second floor library. So there you can see the staircase, right? That goes downstairs. So you can see where we've had some repair work on the walls. Mm -hmm. We already have drywall in, it's all been wired, all plumbed. So then you're out here on the landing. Did you tell the history of the house? No. So this will be the bathroom. And that again is being hung in front of that window. Here is the vanity. Of course, there'll be a mirror in there. Mm -hmm. And then we haven't slid out because we're working on the electric. Commode is back there. And then. Shower. This is a Jack and Jill bathroom. However, we're making the second bathroom. Um, bedroom into a library. This will be the main bedroom upstairs. This will be the main bedroom. Is this the one that we got at the auction? Uh-huh. It looks so much bigger. <laughs> it's... I can't believe it's, we got that all in one trip. Yeah. It's a very big wardrobe. It's going on that wall right there where you were just shining. Right here? Yeah. That's Ooh. the plan. Stand. And again, we're back out here. There's shiplap. There we go. So whenever I say Richard is working, this is typically what he's doing. And there's your staircase downstairs. That looks kind of scary with the flashlight. Ooh. So when was this house originally built? It was built around 1860. 1860. And there'll be more fun updates with the house, you guys. So this is just the preliminary. We're running out of battery. So I guess now would be a good time to mm -hmm. cut it off. Thanks for checking it out, guys.